Hey there, Casey Dimon here with TheTaxSaleAcademy.com and in this video we're talking about quit claim deeds and what you should know as a tax sale investor. First and foremost, pay attention to the word here. It is a quit claim deed. Q-U-I-T. It is not a quick claim deed. There's nothing fast about it. So, you know, when you refer to it, make sure you refer to it in the proper context. It's a quit claim deed. Q-U-I-T. Now, a deed by definition is an instrument that transfers property from a seller to a buyer. You know, it's typically recorded in public records and acts to inform the public that a property has been transferred from one person to the next. I guess it could be compared to a car title, if you will. A quit claim deed is a specific type of deed where the seller doesn't warrant the chain of title, but instead is selling you whatever ownership they have, if any. Now, this can be compared to a, you know, warranty deed in contrast. A warranty deed, a seller sells a piece of property and they say, I warrant that I'm the owner of this property and that the title's free and clear. You know, whereas a quick claim deed, they're basically selling you whatever ownership they have in a property, if any. Now, there's a rumor and a story and a, a kind of a myth, if you will, floating around out there that says, I can deed you the Empire State Building. I can, you know, give you a quick claim deed and basically sell you the Empire State Building. Well, I guess technically by definition, this could be true but it doesn't typically work like this. You know, if I go to the recorder's office in the New York County and I try to sell somebody the Empire State Building, the recorder is going to bounce that deed back to me because they oftentimes do look at the legal descriptions. If the legal description says Empire State Building, they're going to say, well, you know, as a matter of fact, you don't own the Empire State Building, so correct this legal if there's whatever issue or there is or whatever typo and then send it back to us. You know, I have had this happen in the past where I've had a typo that I've put into a deed or a clerk is poured into a quick claim deed and the recorder of the Register of Deeds office has sent it back to me for correction. You know, I correct it, then I send it back. So they do look at the legal descriptions and they will reject the deeds. And secondly, most importantly, if I represent that I own the Empire State Building, I advertise it for sale, you know, I sign a contract saying that I'm going to sell you the Empire State Building, I accept your money as if I'm the owner of the Empire State Building, and then I record a quick claim deed as if I'm the owner of the Empire State Building selling it to you. Well, you know, if I don't actually own that building, it's called fraud. You know, not only could this land me in a lawsuit, it could also land me in prison. Now, as a tax sale investor, there's two main reasons that you need to know about tax sell investments using quick claim deeds. The first one is a lot of times you'll receive a quick claim deed from an auction company. You know, some states use tax deeds, other states use quick claim deeds, which acts in the same format as a tax deed. It basically says, you know, the county is selling you whatever ownership they acquired through tax foreclosure for this property. So there's your first reason. And the second reason is a lot of times as a tax sale investor, you can use a quick claim deed to sell your properties. It's a very fast way. That way you don't have to worry about title insurance or clearing any title clouds, you know, that happen to come up when you they did the tax foreclosure process. You know, especially the lower volume, lower dollar amount transactions. You know, if you're selling something for fifty or hundred thousand dollars, more than likely you'll have to use a warranty and you'll have to take the time to get title insurance. But if we're talking a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars, you know, anything below five or ten thousand dollars, oftentimes a buyer will accept a quick claim deed because the property is being sold at such a deep discount then they can deal with any title issues. So that's all you need to know as a tax sale investor about quick claim deeds. For more information on the very lucrative tax sale investing business, head on over to my website at thetaxsaleacademy.com, which you can do by clicking the blue link right here next to my head. Again, it'll take you to thetaxsaleacademy.com. Once you get there, download your free copy of my ebook, The Tax Sale Blueprint, and you'll be on your way to a very successful tax sale investing career. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.